Good day, YouTube. My name is Emberly, and today we'll be talking about CO2 in aquariums. I'll also talk about how to set up your CO2 equipment to maximize the health of your setup in your aquarium. So one of the first things that you should know is that plants are just like us, except during the day they take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen and when the lights are off they will take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide. This as you know is called photosynthesis. Except when the plants are in the air this is all very easy to do but when underwater things become much more difficult because they only really have access to dissolved CO2 and dissolved oxygen that is in limited availability underwater. So one of the ways of getting this dissolved oxygen into the water is by a CO2 setup. That includes a CO2 cylinder which contains pressurized CO2 and a regulator which is connected to that cylinder which regulates the output of CO2 from the cylinder. Connected to the regulator is a bubble counter and what the bubble counter does is it allows you to count the drops of carbon dioxide and this allows you to finally measure the CO2 output into the aquarium. So the bubble counter is connected to CO2 tubing which runs into your aquarium and at the end of this CO2 tubing is what you call a diffuser and the diffuser is a device that finally disperses the CO2 into tiny little bubbles which is easily dissolved into the aquarium. Now here is a handy tip when setting up your CO2 system make sure that the CO2 turns on half an hour before your lights turn on and again make sure it turns off half an hour before your lights turn off. That will maximize the efficiency of your CO2 setup and your plants will thank you for it. And that brings me to the end of this video. In my next video I'll be talking about lighting used and substrate. If you enjoy this video and you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and like this video if you found it useful. And I shall see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.